Say he's a one of a kind. A local man speared by a stingray last month is a survivor and a survivor with his legs still intact. News Channel 5 Stephanie Suskind is live now with the story of this young man's recovery. Stephanie. Well, 20 year old Michael Goldstein could not even stand on his leg when this all happened. Now he could be back he out here on the water in a matter of weeks. He says he didn't see the sea creature that got him that day, but he certainly felt it. I was worried just because if I'm going to have been in the hospital, I want to be worth it. That was one of Michael Goldstein's biggest concerns when he was speared by a stingray last month. Credibility wise, like if you think of like the hierarchy of like how cool things sound, shark is kind of at the top and then it's like stingray and then it's, you know. At first, the surfer did think a shark bit him while he was out by himself on Singer Island. He saw bait fish jumping around him, then. I felt a punch, so I thought I was in shock and I didn't feel what actually like happened. So I assume that the wound was much bigger. Doctors say they don't know for sure, but they suspect a stingray pierced Michael in the back of his knee. When he came to St. Mary's, his trauma surgeon says they needed to operate right away or he could have lost muscle in his leg. We caught it just in time. By that time he came to the ER and had that CAT scan and they called me. Uh, we had him in the operating room probably within 15 minutes after that. Dr. Misquith says to his knowledge, this is the first stingray piercing at St. Mary's. Michael will make a full recovery. It's not going to stop me from doing anything, um, but I mean, it's always going to you know, be in my head that it happened. And he has the scar to prove it. Now you often hear about the stingray shuffle, which means moving your feet like this on the ocean floor. That's because that's where stingrays usually spend their time. Now they are not aggressive unless they feel threatened for the most part. And doctors say if you are injured by a stingray, apply pressure right away, first aid and call for help. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.